Good morning, students. Today we are going to continue with the journal entries, and uh, I'm going to share the screen for you all. So, <clears throat> as we are proceeding ahead, we have been taking, uh, we have been dealing with one particular question where there are more complex questions of journal entries, right? So, this was the last question that we have solved, the number nine. Okay, the transaction dated sixteen. That is clear the account of Nabin by paying cash under a discount of 5%, right? Make sure that you respond to all these things and the comment section, uh, you can reply whether it, the things are clear to you or not, or you can even call me to get clarification. Then comes the next transaction. Okay, let's come to the next transaction. That is, <clears throat> it will be transaction dated nine, uh, 17 and uh, serial number of this particular question is 10. So I'm just mention it the serial number wise so that it is easy for us to understand because we have been dealing in serial wise questions. Okay. So what is the question telling about sold goods to Ajay and uh, the cost of the goods were 10,000 rupees. Okay. And we have also sold goods to Vijay. The cost of the goods were rupees 16,000. Right. The cost of the cost of the goods were rupees sixteen thousand. Now, we know the rule. We know the steps. Simply, we are going to start. Right. So you have you have to understand the meaning first. So that is, um, it is told that goods are sold to Ajay and Vijay. Now, since in the transaction name of the buyer is given, that is Ajay and Vijay, and it is not told whether it is a cash sale or credit sale. So we are going to take it as credit sale, right? So just we'll find out the item now. Uh, first one it is good sold. So it will be sales account. Uh, then <clears throat> next is Ajay. We cannot take cash. Why? Because of the reason that it is a credit transaction, right? So cash will not be taken. There's no movement of cash. So cash will not be taken. Next is Bizjay, right? So this is the transaction. Now, um, how you are going to do sales? What is the total amount? It will be 26,000 because 10,000 to Ajay and 16,000 to Vijay. So it is coming to 26,000, right? So let's find out the account first. Sales belongs to nominal account. Okay. I have told you uh, the earlier day also. Today also I'm just repeating. Try using the real account rule in case of goods. Okay. Whether it is purchased, whether it is sales whether it is purchase return or sales return doesn't matter. Okay, you take the real account rule that will make the thing very easy. So what is happening here? Sales, right? So sales, although it is a nominal account, let's let's apply the real account rule from now onwards for goods. Okay, so sales, what is happening? Real account rule says that debit what comes in, credit what goes out. So credit what goes out. So it is going out, goes out, right? So it's just a dilemma that we are using the real account rule in case of nominal account, but it is only for the goods. Okay. So it will be goes out credit. Then comes Ajay. We all are aware of Ajay. Ajay is a personal account, right? Name of the person, personal account. So personal account, what is the uh, rule? Debit receiver, credit giver. So Ajay, I'm selling to Ajay. So Ajay is a receiver, right? He is a receiver and receiver will be debit isn't it clear now <clears throat> bj is also a personal account and he is also a receiver here so he will also be debit right clear is it clear everyone now we'll give the journal entries so what is the journal entry the journal entry will be write the debit first remember one thing whenever there are more than one person you can write them as sundry debtors Okay, you can write them as sundry debtors, but I will not mention this term here. As we go in that, I will be explaining that later. So, uh, for the time being, I will write it Ajay debit, or you can write on Ajay's account debit also. Apostrophe as you can use and write it. Okay, so Ajay debit, it is ten thousand. Then comes Vijay, so Vijay debit. How much? 
टू सेल्स अकाउंट सेल्स अकाउंट हाउ मच ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड वट है बींग गुड सोल्ड ऑन क्रेडिट ऑल्सो यू कैन मैंशन इट राइट बींग गुड्स सोल्ड ऑन क्रेडिट फाइन दैट्स ऑल so i'll just highlight the journal entry so that it is easy for you to understand just highlight it <clears throat> okay now let's go to the next transaction hope this is clear to all of you okay so here what is given here now we are going to transaction data 20 so i'll just make it sequence wise serial wise so earlier was a 10 this will be 11 according to question it is transaction data 20 so <clears throat> what is given here received cash from ajay rupees 79800 in full settlement of his account okay in full settlement of his account that means what the total amount of money which we are supposed to receive from ajay Okay, this there is a typing mistake here. It is rupees, right? Rupees nine thousand eight hundred. Now let's find out what is given here. Cash received from Ajay. It is nine thousand eight hundred rupees in full settlement of his account. He was supposed to pay how much? So you can see the previous transaction. It is given there. It is ten thousand rupees of sales that we have done to Ajay, right? And now he is paying us nine thousand eight hundred in full settlement. So the earlier day. uh let's see uh, whether i have given you the note in the earlier class or not most probably i have given i'll just show you once again yeah here it is whenever in the transaction the word full settlement is given it is referring to discount okay it is referring to discount remember that so let's see in this particular transaction what is mentioned here so let's try to understand that so uh, here also the word full uh, what is given here full settlement so i'm just underlining it to make you understand understand that this particular word full settlement is referring to discount right referring to discount we we can <clears throat> we can see that ajay was supposed to pay 10000 okay and now what is happening he is paying 9800 in full settlement clear this is the meaning of the transaction now let's write down the items receive cash so cash is there so immediately you can write down cash so the first item is cash so how much we are receiving cash you just write down the amount also along with that so that it is easy for you to understand later then <clears throat> what are we getting cash at 9800 then we are getting ajay from ajay we are receiving what are we receiving from ajay we are receiving 9800 and he was supposed to pay you have to find out what was his account he was supposed to pay how much remember he was supposed to pay how much 10000 so we will take total 10000 on his name because it is a full settlement entry when there whenever there will be full settlement you have to take the total amount because you have to close his total account okay you have to close his total account if you take only 9800 it will show that still 200 rupees is due right so that you have so that is why you have to take 9800 rupees okay so <clears throat> what did you get here cash 9800 ajay 10000 and the remaining balance as i told you full settlement so it will be discount and whether it is allowed or received you have to try to understand so if i am receiving cash so every time it is opposite isn't it so if i am receiving cash it will be discount allowed okay it will be discount allowed so how much will be the discount allowed just write down the amount it is 200 rupees because he was supposed to pay us 10000 but he is paying us only exactly yeah only 9800 rupees right so let's find out the item one by one um means um, the items debit or credit it is going to be debited or credited let's find out so what is given here cash cash belongs to real account and we know the real rule for real account debit losses and expense sorry debit what comes in credit what goes out so money is coming here right comes in comes in will be debit isn't it comes in will be debit then comes next ajay ajay is a personal account so personal account 
what is the rule for personal account debit the receiver credit the giver right so ajay is here a giver so he is giving us he is a giver giver will be credit right okay giver will be credit i'll just try to make, bring it in one line so that uh, this easy to understand okay then discount allowed now discount allowed we all know it's a nominal account because it is a regular income and expenses so it will be a nominal account and obviously it is a loss because i am allowing so it's a loss and what is the rule for nominal account debit losses and expenses credit gains and income debit losses and expenses that is why it will be debit is it clear everyone so that is very easy to understand okay only thing is that you have to be a little concentrated to the um you have to concentrate a little bit on the question and you have to understand that meaning okay that is the most important thing now <clears throat> let's give the general entry so we have to write the um, debit first right so it will be cash account debit cash account debit how much it is 9800 rupees then comes ajay ajay will be credit so we'll write later then comes discount allowed discount allowed account debit how much 200 rupees two it is ajay right to ajay how much it will be 10000 rupees is it clear everyone just a general narration being being goods sorry being cash received and discount allowed being cash received and discount allowed once again i, I would like to say that you have uh, it's not that you have to follow a stipulated format for giving the narration you can mold it and you can give it according to your convenient okay provided it is giving the complete information about the transaction right so hopefully it is clear to all of you okay clear okay then now we will go to the next transaction what it is here paid insurance premium i was mentioning it as number 12 because the previous one was i think number 11 most probably yes so we'll make it insurance premium as 12 okay now <clears throat> this particular insurance premium okay what it is mentioning try to understand insurance premium insurance premium can be of two types one life insurance premium the other one can be general insurance premium general insurance means um, for the business okay any insurance for the business if it is for the business purpose then you are going to take it as a normal expenses okay normal expenses but if it is for business purpose sorry if it is for uh, life insurance purpose okay not a general insurance rather it is for life insurance then you should understand that any life insurance okay any life insurance is treated as drawings okay any life insurance will be treated as drawings okay so um here also actually in the question it is mentioned as um only the insurance premium okay so until and unless it is mentioned life insurance you take it as drawing so i'm I, I i want to explain it as life insurance so i will take it life insurance okay generally life insurance will refer to drawings try to understand why because of the reason that life means what life insurance is given on the living thing and who is a living being in the business organization it is the owner okay it is the owner who is a living thing so living being will get a life insurance clear and a non-living thing like a business organization will get general insurance okay Insu like fire insurance or general insurance for the business it will be mentioned if it is mentioned that for the business then you take a business expense or if it is not mentioned only insurance premium or only life insurance that means it is for the owner okay it is for the owner expenses has been done for the owner so in that case what you have to do you have to find out the items and take it as what is the item here 
paid in life insurance premium so this is the main item here right and you are going to take it as drawings why you are going to take a drawings because it is for the owner and the other day i think i have told you already that any and uh, let me check once whether i have uh, mentioned it or not okay i have not mentioned it so what i will do is that uh, i will just mention it over the note itself here it's in the note i'll mention it okay so um, remember that any cash any anything actually it can be anything anything like cash goods or any other property of business of business if is used by the owner for their personal purpose okay if any cash goods or any other property of the business is okay any anything like cash goods or any other property of the business if is used if is used by the owner for their personal purpose okay if they are using it for the personal purpose it is taken as drawings remember it will be drawings okay it will be drawings it will be drawings means <coughs> withdrawn for the personal purpose that will be taken as drawings okay so then again life insurance is also taken as a for a personal purpose life insurance is also uh, will be taken for a personal purpose because life insurance will be not for the purpose of owner uh, not for the purpose of business because it is related to life and life is related to whom the owner right so it will be taken as drawings and what is the other item you are getting it rupees seven uh, seven fifty so you are going to mention it as uh, cash because since it is not mentioned whether paid in uh, cash or uh, through bank check so that is why what you will do is that simply you will write it cash account so what are the things you got drawings right now drawings is relating to owner right so it is also a personal account it is a personal account okay and what will be treatment what will be the rule uh, personal account debit receiver credit giver isn't it so drawing means the owner is receiving although after receiving the money he is giving it for insurance premium let it be doesn't matter but for us it is the money that he has taken from the business and after taking the money whether he is paying life insurance premium whether he is buying a car for his son or whether he is buying a mobile for himself doesn't matter simply we have to know that what he has done with the business with the business he has taken from the business he has just taken the money and from the business since he is taking the money for his insurance premium life insurance premium that means it is a drawings okay since it, life insurance is his personal expenses okay so that why that is why it will be taken as drawings and, and uh, from the business point of view he is taking some amount of money that is the main point okay although it is not mentioned but it is obvious paid life insurance means what he has taken money from business and has paid the life insurance premium okay insurance company will not just simply come in the business and will take it away until unless he gives okay that means he has uh, taken some money from the business and given the life insurance premium so it will be taken that he is taking the money right from the business so that is why he is a receiver here he will be taken as a receiver and receiver will be debit then comes cash cash is a real account why you have taken cash just see because we are giving money the business is giving money to whom the owner right so it's a cash real account and it is going out so goes out is that real account debit what comes in credit what goes out right so it is going out goes out credit is it clear that means the general entry will stand like this drawings account debit drawings account debit how much 750 to cash account 
okay what will be the narration being you can you can mention it by being life insurance paid being life insurance premium paid being life insurance premium paid okay you can mention it just no problem in that is it clear everyone so this is how your transaction will stand i'll just highlight it so that you can easily understand that now we will go to the next transaction that is paid for sham sundar's life insurance premium see paid for sham sundar's life insurance premium is again also relating to <clears throat> the same transaction here is the relation between that between and the two transactions there has been a close relation because it's the same thing they are referring to both the cases okay so i'll just treat it again i'll just mold it here because of the reason that in the previous question i have just edited it just to uh, make you clear about life insurance here i will edit you to make you clear about insurance okay now there has been a uh, slight bit of mistake now remember that if it is life insurance okay then it will be always taken as drawings but if it is only insurance premium then it will be taken as business expenses only business insurance premium business expense fire insurance business expenses specifically if it is mentioned agar specify kar diya life insurance premium then it is drawings remember that okay agar life insurance bata diya hai to matlab owner ka expense hai agar bata diya ki owners ke insurance ke liye to drawings hoga theek hai na to life insurance drawing ko refer karta hai lekin general insurance premium business expenses hai theek hai क्लियर सो इंश्योरेंस किया था हम लोगों ने बिजनेस का कितना पैसा दिया हम लोगों ने 1200 सो व्हाट यू विल डू इज जस्ट सिंपली फाइंड आउट द आइटम सो फर्स्ट वन इज इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम इटसेल्फ व्हाई इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम बिकॉज़ इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम इज अ बिजनेस एक्सपेंस बट लाइफ इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम इज अ ओनर्स एक्सपेंस ओके सो इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम वन आइटम देन द अदर वन इज कैश ओके इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम बाकी जैसे खर्चा होता है ना छोटा मोटा खर्चा उसके तरह ही ये भी एक खर्चा ही है इसलिए इसको नॉमिनल अकाउंट बोलते हैं क्लियर और नॉमिनल अकाउंट का रूल क्या बोलता है डेबिट लॉसेस एंड एक्सपेंसेस क्रेडिट गेन्स एंड इनकम तो इंश्योरेंस करने से क्या होता है एक्सपेंस होता है एक्सपेंसिस ओके सो एक्सपेंसिस क्या होगा डेबिट याद रखना एक्सपेंसिस और लॉसेज का डिफरेंस क्या होता है एक्सपेंसिस और लॉसेज का डिफरेंस है कि एक्सपेंसेस का मतलब है जो तुमने पैसा देकर कुछ तुम्हें बेनिफिट मिले ठीक है लाइक इफ यू आर ट्रेवलिंग बाय ऑटो एंड इफ यू हैव पेड सम मनी टू द ऑटो ड्राइवर देन दैट विल बी एक्सपेंस बट सपोज बट सपोज व्हाट एपन दैट एंड जस्ट सिंपली यू केम आउट ऑफ योर होम एंड वाइल्ड टेकिंग आउट योर मोबाइल फोन टेन रुपीज फॉल डाउन फ्रॉम योर पॉकेट फेल डाउन फ्रॉम योर पॉकेट एंड यू हैव लॉस्ट इट नाउ सो दैट विल बी अ लॉस बिकॉज इन रिटर्न ऑफ द टेन रुपीज यू डू नॉट गेट एनीथिंग अंडरस्टूड and the same 10 rupees for example you have got another 10 rupees and with that you have purchased a uh, chips or lays uh, or any other thing and you have just uh, consumed that that is that will be taken as expense because you are getting some benefit of that okay so <clears throat> that is the concept here so any expenses anything which is a, um, which is giving you any any payment which will give you some uh, benefit that will be expense okay Okay. Then comes cash. So cash, we also know uh, cash. We all know that it is a real account. It's so well known to every one of you now, right? So cash is a real account. And what is the rule for real account? Debit. What comes in? Credit. What goes out? So if I pay life insurance premium, what is happening? Money is going out. So goes out. Credit. Is it clear, everyone? So this is how the transactions appear. Okay. Now. in both the cases i hope all of you understood this so in in both the cases we have understood in the previous case also we have understood and this case also we have seen that if it is if it is life insurance then it will be taken as drawings and if it is only insurance then it will be taken as business expense okay clear then let's come to the uh, general entry what will be that insurance premium account debit
to cash account how much one two double zero okay is it clear everyone so this is how your transaction will appear and uh, narration just put up a narration being insurance premium paid okay um if you refer to the question you can see that there's a certain editing that i have done here so according to the edit that i have done that you can uh, just um, keep it okay according to that only you can do and if you want to change it you understood the concept now now easily you can do that so um, i'll just highlight it so that you can easily understand that yeah okay so now we will go to the next transaction it is transaction data 24 so i'll just make it 14 transaction number 14 okay i'll just make it the number so what is given here um that purchase goods of rupees 8000 and uh, the purchase has been done for cash at a discount and trade discount of 10 percent and cash discount of two percent this we have already done this type of sum so i'll just leave it for you as a homework you're going to do it as homework okay you will do it as homework because this type of sum we have already done it then receive cash from bj for a cash uh, how much at a cash discount of five percent in full settlement of his account so i'll just mention you again i'll uh, it's similar but still i'll show you because there's a percentage given so this is a new thing for you all it's transition data 25 i'll make it 15. so what is given here receive cash from bj okay we have we are receiving money from bj and what is the trade discount we, uh, we, we are getting a discount of how much five percent okay we are getting a discount of five percent and that too in the full settlement of his account let's find out what was vijay's account you can just see that <clears throat> vijay was supposed to pay how much Sixteen thousand, right Sixteen thousand was the amount of vijay clear so he is paying how much at a uh, he is giving us the money at five percent discount right so at five percent discount mean let's find out one by one so receive cash so just write down what is the item cash account okay i will mention you uh, mention the amount also here it was 16,000 I was supposed to receive so I'm going just a minute yeah rupees rupees 16,000 I was supposed to receive but I am receiving at 5% discount so I'll just deduct 5% from here so what is the 5% of 16,000 it will be rupees 16,000 minus minus the five percent so what is the five percent it will be two thousand uh, sorry eight hundred rupees only eight hundred rupees okay it is only eight hundred rupees how to find out just make it a ten percent of that it will be sixteen hundred and the five percent will be half of that so it will be eight hundred or you can do the calculation as you like that's not a hard and fast rule for anything there like that okay so what is the cash discount eight hundred so ultimately you're getting how much fifteen thousand two hundred so this is the amount of cash you are going to get okay this is the amount of cash you are going to get <clears throat> so after that what happened once you have got the cash what is the next item vijay now we know that earlier also i told you that we are going to close vijay's account to the extent of amount that was due isn't it because it is a full settlement the word full settlement is there so it will be sixteen thousand as a whole i am going to take then will come to the next item what is the next item full settlement is there that means there is discount inherent in that particular transaction so discount will be there now you try to understand it is receive of cash so discount will go the other way if i receive cash discount will be allowed if i allow cash or if i pay cash discount will be received okay so discount allowed will be how much we have already found out that is five percent of sixteen thousand that was eight hundred rupees clear now let's find out what will be the transaction how it will be done one by one so what i'll do is that i will just uh, the word cash i will just mention it here 
so that it will be easy for you to understand cash is a real account we all know that so real account what is the rule for real account debit debit what comes in credit what goes out right so here what is happening receiving cash right so it is coming in so comes in comes in will be debit isn't it and vijay vijay is a personal account exactly it is a personal account personal account personal account debit receiver credit giver isn't it so he is a giver here he, vijay is giving us two things one is a money and one is a discount uh the pain of discount right loss of discount so he is a giver here giver will be credit then discount allowed discount allowed we all know it's a nominal account nominal account debit losses and expenses credit gains and income right so allowed discount allowed is a loss loss will be debit is it clear everyone okay this is how the whole scene will appear in front of you so cash will be debit vijay will be credit and discount allowed will be debit so let's quickly give the general entry so what will happen here the general entry will be like this cash account debit cash account debit 15200 how much we are receiving right then it will be discount allowed discount allowed account debit just to make the space okay i'll just run the put it in the same line so discount allowed we know that it is 800 right then comes in the credit in the credit we have got vj so it will be 2 vj just add a capital letter vj you can write down vj's account also first giving a first of it that's no problem so it will be 16000 right then now comes the narration i'll just try to bring the narration in the same page okay so that it is very easy for you all to understand if it is in the place so what has happened being cash received i have received cash right being cash received and discount allowed okay so this is the whole scene about the transaction now i'll just highlight it so that it is very easy for you to understand okay so this is the transaction all about now comes the next transaction that is paid rent paid rent uh, rupees 800 advertisement rupees 1000 and salary rupees one uh, four four thousand now this one we have already done it earlier also so what i'll give do is that uh, then receive commission also rupees 500 so both i'm going to give you as homework okay this will be both uh three questions i'm going to give you as homework so that you can solve it and if you have doubt you can call me and ask that's not an issue okay uh, i just highlight it so that it will reflect it okay so this is how the 
question comes to an end and still if you have any doubt you can ask me and you can uh, you can ask me and you can get the confirmation uh, anything you want to ask anything you want to add it up okay and uh, we will take one more sum where we will finish the general entries uh, there okay um, and clarify about all these notes and all if you have any doubt if you any clarification you get it clarified okay take care of yourself i'm ending today's class okay